Okay, today is day two of Madtober, just a maladaptive daydreaming themed Inktober, and today's prompt is celebrity. So, how are we gonna draw this one? Celebrity, in case you didn't know, is actually the most common main theme for maladaptive daydreamers. There was this study called uh, the Evidence for an Underreported mental health disorder, I think that's what it's called. And what it did was uh, it asked a bunch of um, maladaptive daydreamers, like, you know, what's the main theme of your daydreams? And celebrity, being one or being in a relationship with one, was the most common answer. It was something like 36% of people answered that or something. Like, it, it, it wasn't, you know, like, overwhelming. It wasn't like, you know, 99% of us or anything, but 36-ish I'm not sure the exact number, actually. How do we draw a celebrity? Like, who's a good celebrity we can draw? Let's see if we can give him, like, <laughs> Elton John glasses here. Was Elton John the one that did the star glasses? I can't even, I don't even know. Not gonna lie, these stars came out better than I thought they would when I started drawing them. So here we go. These are glasses. Our celebrity glasses. Big smile. Your star, baby. Big smile. Should have eyebrows. Hey, hair, right? Okay, I was going for casual unkempt, but what we ended up with is like Giorgio Sugulis. <laughs> so, <laughs> oops. That's okay. He's a star. Star of ancient aliens, which I love, by the way. I know it's awful. I know it's trash. I don't care. I love it. I'm not an ancient astronaut theorist, by the way, in case you were worried about me. Let's give him a, yeah, here we go. Hands on hips. You're confident. Right out there. Oh, I should have put hands. Oh, well, there we go. Hands, sort of. You know, the fun thing about that study was uh, they didn't just ask MDers. They asked um, non-MDers, too. And for the non-MDers, celebrity only came in at, like, 3%. I'm not sure if it was 3%, but it was definitely under 5%. I should look this stuff up before I draw it. So let's give our guy a little, give him a little mini-me. <laughs> Standing on his shoe. I didn't mean to draw him standing on the shoe. That's just how it worked out. I love it though. The other two most common themes were um, relationships, like romantic relationships, and the um, idolized self, which is the character is them, but better. <laughs> Has all the attributes you would want for your own life, but don't have. I can't remember which one of those. I, I can't. I can't remember which one's like second and third place. Doesn't really matter. So, well, let's give our guy somebody over here to love. There we go, arm in arm. They're in love, you guys. I wonder, can we do like kissy lips? Ooh, kitty kiss. Ooh. That, looks, that looks like an ear. <laughs> yeah, we're calling that an ear. Nope. No kissy lips. We'll give you ears too. That didn't work out. <clears throat> See if we can give him like a little. Winky face, I guess. Um, does it look like a wink? <laughs> no smirk. <laughs> we'll give you curly hair. I think I put the smirk on the wrong side. This is what you're in for all month. Stick figures. So the non-MDers, they're like a romantic relationship theme was more like 20%. So our little non-MD doppelganger over here it's gonna be, uh, gonna be a bit bigger. I guess it works out that I put him on that shoe. Oh, really gotta reach to go arm and arm. <laughs> Freakishly long arms. Okay, no smirk. Oh, they actually they look upset. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Little curly hair. And then the third biggest, or maybe the second biggest, because I can't remember which order these go in. For maladaptive daydreamers was the idolized self. Um, I'm gonna draw myself but I don't actually have, I don't daydream about myself so I don't have an idolized self in my daydreams but so we'll just draw, we'll draw me. Here we go, I'm so happy and I've got long hair. Let's give it, will give me some more volume actually. This is an idolized self so I can make her as great as I want. Nice and natural, nice natural wave hair with volume oh, and a very cool like Veronica Lake. What would we call it now? <laughs> well, here we go. We'll have me showing off. Well, let's give me a prize here. 
will give me a YouTube uh, play button. And then this one for the non-MDers, the idolized cell, was actually really, it was really low, like under 5%, like this guy again. So we'll just put, we'll put a little dimmer. With their little play button. Oh my god, it's so cute. A lot of people think or get the impression that um, the most common is actually like the fictional worlds and stuff. But it's really, it's really not. These are the top three. Idolized self, celebrity, and uh, romance. I think it's just that the people who daydream like the fictional worlds, which I am one, so like I get it. They, they're just more visible online. Like nobody wants to tell you about their obsession with, you know, some celebrity and sound like, sound like a obsessed stalker or, or a silly, you know, fangirl or something. Like it just gets, these are just things that get talked about less, I think. But the fictional worlds, they're easier to share because they're just whimsy, you know? They're not just whimsy, but you can present them as whimsy. You know, nobody says, wow, man, that's weird when you talk about dragons and shit. They say, oh, so you're into fantasy novels or whatever. But you start going on about your imagined uh, relationship with Beyonce and they're like, dude, you got to get off the internet. That's a parasocial relationship and you've got a problem. So it's weird, right? It's weird that like the, the most common types of daydreams are the ones that actually get talked about less. And the less common type, the like world builders and stuff, are really, really visible, especially in our online spaces. But it's just a trick of the internet. It's just a trick of the internet. So if you're like hanging out in the MD community and all you're seeing is all these, you know, original characters and crazy fantasy pop plot lines and big worlds with, you know, the cast of 300 and lore, language, <laughs> whatever makes high fantasy, high fantasy. Like if that's all you're seeing, you, you don't have to like second guess yourself is all I'm saying. Like just, you don't have to be like, oh shit, maybe it's not MD. Cause like my daydreams are totally different. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's just that they get talked about more. Like your, your type of daydreaming isn't weird. It's probably pretty common. And even if the type of daydreaming that you do isn't really common. It doesn't really matter because the themes of the daydream aren't what decide if it's maladaptive or not. The, the, the themes can't give you any indication of whether or not it's like maladaptive daydreaming. Oh, I forgot to give you feet. And that's it for today. Yeah. Celebrity. Draw yourself something based on the prompt. Post it to social media. Hashtag it madtober. See you tomorrow.